You haven't seen this. <laughs> All right, today I'm checking out Carolyn in Wonderland and Bonnie Raitt. I'm listening to the song, Ain't Nobody's Fault But Mine. Let's get into it. It's Carolyn Wonderland. Thank you. You see a lot of cool body language from artists when they're just like probably completely in their subconscious mind, just performing, not thinking about anything. They're just letting, you know, the performance take over their body language. But this, like she just, I wouldn't even want to imitate that. I'd probably like pull a muscle in my neck or get a crick or something. But you know what I mean? She just, huh, 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 like the, the, the back and forth, the jerking of the head and stuff. And it's just, I don't know. It's just cool to see. It's just cool to see. When someone's doing that, you know they're not going through the motions and that this is their passion like they're completely probably in the moment enjoying themselves and just you know what i mean you just let the music take over you kind of thing i don't know how they do it go from your soul go from your subconscious like from your heart i don't know but that performance you just so into it it's just, oh dang that's cool that is just so cool to see i hope we get more i hope we get more of that crazy head action when she's singing she was doing it a lot in the beginning but she still was doing it later she would just do like one or two jerks she'd just be like singing and then all of a sudden <laughs> Like what? It's almost like someone's getting possessed. If someone was getting possessed, if you describe this performance to somebody, they might, and you don't tell them that they're singing, you're like, oh, there's this person, and they keep jerking their head back and forth really fast and vigorously, left and right, and it's kind of like erratic, can't even, there's no pattern to it even. They might, oh, that person's possessed. Now, if you told them they were singing and doing it, that's different. But what if it's that? What if it's like a possession, not really being possessed, you know what I'm saying? But what if it's just like channeling or something? I don't know what it is. I love it.
in show business. Carolyn Wonderland, Bonnie Raitt. Uh, that performance, I mean, the vocals, the singing, everything. That was phenomenal. How she sing like that? That's why you can't judge a book by its cover. She looking like a whole skater chick, but she seemed like a corn-fed woman from the South. You know what I'm saying? She had some soul. She had all the soul, a lot of soul. And that's why the music, it just, I don't know. She's possessed by the music and she was just so into it. She gave gave us that nasty neck work at the end. <laughs> you know what I mean? She brought it back. I'm going back to it. You know I am. You know I'm going back to that last ending little segment where she gave us the hing, 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 hing. Beautiful. That was really good. That was a good. I love that we got the live video too. Sometimes the live is just it's mandatory for this song. Just hearing it, you'd be like, "Dang, she got the big soulful vocals." But seeing it, that's a whole different experience. And if we would have just heard the song and just appreciated the vocals, it's like I appreciate the performance just as much as I do the vocals. Dang, that was wild. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Yeah, my boys on the road. Where to go? She told me, boy, you to go. Like I don't know. 